you're most likely to come in contact with fecal bacteria with a refillable soap dispenser than anywhere in a public restroom. Because you really can't tell contamination's occurring. You can't see the bacteria growing in there. So you never really know if there's bacteria or not. That's why using a, a sealed uh, soap dispenser is the way to go. Well, it's been found that really cleaning a regular refillable soap dispensers uh, doesn't really get at the bacterial problem because biofilms develop inside these soap dispensers. And even if you clean them and disinfect them, it comes back right away, the bacteria. As soon as you put uh, additional soap in these dispensers, the bacteria start growing right away. Well, I think there's a, definitely a risk to people getting ill from refillable soap dispensers because you find bacteria in there that can cause eye, skin infections, and wound infections. So I think the probability is there. And, it, of course, it's been demonstrated in healthcare facilities. So we know the, the potential is really strong for this to occur. You know, people are going in there to remove things from their hands, and they're putting them on. Uh, they're trying to take off fecal bacteria by washing their hands, and they're actually putting them on. So in a way, it, it, it's an oxymoron. You're, you're doing the reverse of why you're washing your hands. Well, I really think uh, bulk soaps dispensers should be regulated. Uh, and, and in fact, I don't even think they should be used. I think we really should go to uh, sanitary seal soap dispensers that you, you can't refill all the time, because that would eliminate the problem of the growth of the bacteria in these dispensers. But I think it's really the responsibility of facility management is to put the proper type of soap in these facilities so people don't increase their exposure to large numbers of bacteria. The greatest exposure to fecal bacteria for many people may be washing their hands.